Hey guys. Hey. Back at again with a new girl. This is season two, episode 14, Pepperwood. Pepperwood. Uh, last episode we left off with, uh, I guess, meeting uh, Nick's dad and how he's a color man, you know? There were uh, some cute moments. Yeah. There were some serious moments, too. Yeah. And Overall, I thought it was a good episode. Yeah. Uh, yeah anyway, this is Diamond Toy. You guys are going to get the you actually know what to do. Check out the page. Link in the description down below. And let's dive into it. It's a whole new world teaching adults. This week, I gave them an assignment. I said, write whatever you want, just load it up with descriptive imagery. My fluffy yeah, pillow, my yellowy fluffy pillow, next to my dog, my hairy dog, my beloved hairy dog, while I diddle myself. Excellent. Yeah. The student whose name is Edgar and who was not getting it. And then today he turned in this amazing story. Nick, actually, you should read this. Writers don't read. We write. Jessica Day calls it a must read. But look at that font. What is this amateur hour? Oh, did he have morning wood? Oh okay. my uh, goodness. Okay, hey, you know what? I, uh, I, I just wrote the side. The side I, right, anyway, so, so it's, you, you, it's I, fine. You, oh, oh, wait, now. Oh, 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 you don't don't know. Know. <laughs> They're all scared. Jump out the way, Jessica. The hell is wrong with you? Just waving that thing around like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> By day, I'm a plumber. By night, I'm a stalker. You read it. I sit in the bushes wearing a gimp costume, stalking my prey. He's the first person I got to use first-person um, narrative. That's, that's bad. bad. Her eyes are big, too big. Before she can blink He's those so big weird. eyes, I'm stabbing her. I stab He's about killing stab. her. I love stabbing <laughs> After all the stuff, just don't think you should be in a room with this creep twice a week. It is not safe. Yeah, he sounds kind of... Yeah, I'm a little worried And she about has you. doe eyes. Yeah. That's what I said, it's probably her. I'm talking about her. my own hand. Don't mean to interrupt. I just hear you're the best teacher of adults. Oh, no. Oh, oh my goodness. Do you room for one more? No. How you get going on Julius Pepperwood? I'm here to learn how to write short fiction. Oh, okay, Julius. Just take a seat and, um... I'm from Chicago. Thin crust pizza? No, thank you. I'm from Chicago. So for a quick follow-up, let's talk about the um, four classifications. Uh, um, we talked about last week. It's in the workbook. Um, anybody want to help me? He's like looking at four her while drawing. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> and it's, he's and it's a knife through. No, no, like he's like pretty hours, like, but I just want you to know that sure? you've gone way too far. Way too far. Well, if you're here for Edgar's notebook, you're too late. Where's the notebook? <laughs> Weapons dripping with blood? That is not a doodle. What are you, the doodle police? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you're not spying on the one student that I have a connection with. I have the address right here. Okay. No. Give me the, no. I have the address memorized. Fine, then I'm coming too. A pogo is what your friends talk about when you leave the room. Oh, like your barnacle toenails? You guys talk about my toenails? <laughs> you never talk about your toenails. Schmidt, you know my toenails are a little rugged, woodsy. I mean, I have never wondered if you could shimmy up a palm tree. There it is. Anything's gonna go down when you're safe for it. Nothing's gonna go down unless we make it go down. Never get caught without a safe word. We're gonna go with apricot. That's way too normal. We need to, like, go with something weird, like dragon slippers. What? I use apricot too much in my normal life. Why do you use apricots so much? What am I supposed to call them? Sweet tangy balls? Don't call them sweet tangy <laughs> balls. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. Edgar lives with his mother. So of course he I'm not does. Not people, but I forget mothers. What do you like? He can't go near parks. She's just clear. Got to. Ah! 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 Painless plumbing. That's an interesting name. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's probably a deer. He's the one that's in the story. How did I not see this before? What was I saying? Oh my god, you were right. Yes, say that again. Do you want an industrial size paper cutter? Oh. Uh, whatever. What the hell is the eating area? Winston told me that you guys make fun of my gremlin toenails. That you call them clickety clacks. <laughs> clickety clacks. But you know what? Don't act like we don't talk about YouTube behind your backs. Because we do. You both have pogos, my friend. Oh, 
okay? My koala claws. Now that's a pogo. At least you can hide your pogo in a shoe. They make shoes for your penis. They're called pants. <laughs> Tell me my pogo. Jessica, no. Tell me my pogo. You're a know-it-all. You're going to laugh about your pogo, Nick. Yeah. I'm worried about you. <laughs> you're worried about me. <laughs> you're worried that you're not going to make it. Make it to what? Just in general, because you don't take care of yourself. Sometimes I'll crumple up vitamins and I'll put them in your food. <laughs> you don't take care of Oh my goodness. Just... Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is... This is very Her big eyes. Huh? Jesse wants to kill you! What? <laughs> I am in this shit right now, and there what? are drawings on the wall of you. And bloody weapons. And googly eyes. He wants to kill you. You're the deer. You're the deer. You're the deer. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm in school, and I, I'm doing office hours. Get out now! Okay, I'll just, I'll just keep you on the line, oh, and then I'll see the, um... Safe word, okay? I'll just say it like the apricots! Apricots! Don't tell him. No, 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 I just have a deaf grocer. Apricots! Apricots! And butter! I'm covering apricots! Apricots and oh! butter! <laughs> Why is his face like Welcome that? Welcome to Office Hours. Um, I found my ending. Yeah? It's pretty risky. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get away with it. I realized that there was only one way for the story to end. You need to die. In the story, right? I mean, you said I had to die. I was kind of screaming too. What's more surprising than killing your main character? What about this? Go with me. What if, um... What if uh, my character lives and the book just goes on? Um, oh. You heard that song. That song yesterday. This song is everywhere these days. Were you at my house? Okay, thank you. Goodbye. No, I have to go. Lock the door. I am coming. I am going to protect you all. Ooh. Oh, the mom. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised the mom's actually a killer. You kill him! You kill him! Oh, you know what? That could be his book. You thought I was a murderer? You thought I well, it's because of what you taught me. You listen? Well, of course I listened. You were a good teacher. Until you thought I was a murderer and you broke into my shed. Aww. You were my favorite student until I thought you were a murderer. He's not my son. Oh, are you kidding? Really? Uh... Real nice, you two. Are they together? Oh. Okay. Oh my god, you smell like waffles. Don't read that, I'm not finished. Julius Pepperwood, zombie detective. Ooh, that would be good. So they obviously don't need a detective. I'm working. His office with a sense of purpose, place. Another word here, question mark. I'm looking for another P word there. She had zombie legs that went on for miles. They were the kind of legs you could sink your teeth into. The other was his gal Friday, Jessica Knight. It's not you, Jess. Just a good day. Just a good day. Stature, but non oh! Super <laughs> annoying know it all. Yes! Amazing, the man! Oh! I didn't know you were going to put your arm around me. So sorry. Oh, you put up your pup tent in front of the fire. It's involuntary. It is a combination of adrenaline and great circulation. I know I'm so sorry. And I think I liked half that episode, to be honest. I think I liked the Jess. Yeah. With, with, um, figuring out if her student is a killer. I think that was funny. But the pogos of everyone's pogos, they're okay. I no, I, they... I think you're right, yeah. I think the pogo thing, I think that gave it kind of ran its course. I thought it would have been good for the first, like, few minutes, but then it just really ran into it. Um, I think the episode should be called Pogos, because I wish they were talking about it. They said the word Pogo like ten times. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, <laughs> Too many. Wrongly titled. Yeah, it uh, should have been Pogo. <laughs> um, as for the episode, like I said, I think um, as funny as Nick and Jess is, I did find their relationship kind of annoying at times. I mean, watching I was like, okay, that was fun, but come on. How old are you? Because you're 33, right? Act it. You know, I don't know. That I, that's what got me thinking when I saw like them fighting. I think behind the van, that's when it started clicking. I'm like, huh, okay, they fight over the stupidest things, and I just noticed it throughout the whole show now. Like I don't know, this is kind of funny that that one scene just 
clear it up for the whole show for a little bit. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I don't. I think it's good. Okay. Well, I liked it. Um, I like their chemistry that they have together. So I disagree. Oh no, I know. I do like their chemistry. It just like I just noticed that they do fight over small things a lot. You know. Well, that's what you do when you have like. Yeah. Which makes you realize that maybe they're probably going to put those two together. At some point in the show. Yeah. You know? At least they go to theaters. Because like there's honestly. some spark there. Yeah. We can all see it. Yeah. I mean. Anyway, guys, if you guys go for it, you'll do. Check out the Patreon. See you guys next week. Bye.